past fatal heart impact, past painful scars. In fact, I blast tasteful bars and past I back up my actions. Back on mass, grab reactions, jack attack with every word and act with class as they hear me snap. I got nothing to lose, cause I fought and felt the bruise. Now I'm not the one confused, call the shots and they produce. I ain't lost, I'm finally loose. Pick a new so bird's juice. I need the views to boost me to a new abuse of being used. Everybody wants a peace now, y'all can rest in peace now. You're dead to me, so peace out. Remember you're discreet now. Get ready for the Damn. Surprised I've lasted this long. This kid's insane. Now, Izuku Midori would come walking forward from the smoke, as half the city behind him is in flames. Mr. Stark, why are you trying to stop me so hard? Hmm. Easy. I can't let you change reality. Hmm. Really? I'm just trying to change it for the better of my own people. Kid. What you plan to do? I can't. That gauntlet shouldn't be assembled again. Really? And why is that? Who are you to say that? I'm just a man in a fancy suit of armor. Now. Tony Stark would go to actually gain his footing, as the arc reactor or the power stone in his chest does begin to charge. Him going to actually throw up his hands as multiple pulsers and even firearms do go to actually jump from the armor, as they all do charge up with the energy of the power stone, and all do blast in the direction of Midoriya. Midoriya actually going to sidestep the blast and dodging out of the way of it, as Stark does try to follow Midoriya's path. As in every single direction this stuff hits, it goes flying through space. Stark is currently cutting through buildings and causing massive amounts of destruction. Now, Midoriya he actually has got to come in, him flying straight through the blast by using his phasing power. As he's going to bring up his hands and go to smash down into the suit. As Stark, he does go moving backwards. And he does tell Jarvis to run an algorithm. And check to see how the kid's going to move next. Now, Jarvis would try to, try to warn him. As Midway, he actually has got to kick Stark in the face. Now, Stark does go moving backwards. As Midoriya, he would just ask him exactly when did he create this armor. Hmm? Been working on it for years. Every year I had to upgrade it. Got to a point where I actually had to build something stronger. So he asked a certain prince for something. He was more than willing to give a hand. Hmm. T'Challa. Hmm. Yeah. And where is he in all this? Hmm? Staying out of it, apparently. As far as he's aware, this has no concern for Wakanda. <laughs> A wise king, it really doesn't. What do I would say? Tony going to rush him as a blade does pop out of the arm. Now, what do I would go to see this? As he does, using his power, go to create adamantium on the surface of his own skin. And bring his hand up as the blade is smashed directly onto this armor. And Midori he would go to sweep up the blade upwards with his with his left hand. As the blade goes moving downwards, and Midori he actually goes to grab the armor by its arm. As Tony Stark does go to actually make another blade. And try to stab Midori with his other hand. Midori phasing his chest as Stark's armor does go straight through it. <sighs> really? You can control your power that much? Now, I've had years. Now, Midoriya would go to bring up his hands and go to reach for the power stone. As he does tell Tony that this is no hard feelings. Now, as this does go to happen, you do have Doctor Strange, who he does come in and go to say a few words as time does freeze. Now, he does move forwards quickly, 
grab Tony by his armor and go to pull him backwards and away. As somebody would be standing right in front of Tony, or, well, right in front of Midoriya, whenever time does resume. Now, as this does happen, Midoriya, he does go to unfreeze, and Tony, he does go to actually try and send out a blast with his power. As Midoriya, he's quickly uppercutted. And this does actually surprise him. Now, Midoriya, he would go to look at who did this to him. As he does see a man by the name of Blue Marvel. Hmm. Ah, another one. And who might you be? Hmm? You don't know who I am, kid? Was I really retired for that long? Hmm. <laughs> I guess so. Maybe you were. Then again, you're just another one of another pest in my way. Now, what do we go to bring up his left hand? As Blue Marvel does realize that that's the Infinity Gauntlet. Now, Midoriya, he would just say that he's done playing. And at this point, he doesn't want to entertain Stark anymore. Now, Tony, he is confused. As Midoriya, he would show exactly how much control over everything he does have. As he goes to close his hand. And time does bend to Midoriya's will. As it does freeze. Midoriya moving throughout the space. As he does step right in front of Iron Man. And he does go to bring his hand up onto his chest. As he does phase into the armor and go to pull out the power stone. Now, the moment Midoriya does do that, he does watch as the Andamantium did begin to rip and tear out of the suit. And Midoriya, he was curious. Bringing up his hand and going to actually move deeper into the suit before he does find Iron Man's body. Hmm. I can kill him right now and no one would even know. Hmm. He tore my heart out whenever he sent me to Sakaar. It's only an honor I pay the favor. Now, would we would just grab the arc reactor in Stark's chest? As he does go to pull it free. As he does turn to Doctor Strange. And he doesn't go to actually punch him in the chest as well. Before heading back to Blue Marvel. And standing right in front of this man. Hmm. And it seems fitting that I have a witness. Now. Midoriya, he would go to resume time. As Blue Marvel does bring his hands up and get ready. As he does look confused by Midoriya. He was staying there, and he had a smug look on his face. Hmm? What is that? <laughs> it's simple. Now, he would go to turn around. Watching his Doctor Strange, he does fall to the ground dead. As he does tell Iron Man that they can still take this guy on. Now, Midoriya would just say that Iron Man might not be too much of a very... Too, too much helpful right now. As he does go to pull his hand behind his back. Or pull his hand out from behind his back and reveal the power stone in the arc reactor in his hand. Now, Blue Marvel, he's completely shocked. What are you dropping the arc reactor and crushing it underneath his foot? Before putting the power stone in the infinity gauntlet. As this man does go to rush forwards. And Midoriya would look at him, before just saying the words, Die. And Blue Marvel explodes. Now, Midoriya does somewhat begin to laugh. He feels great. He didn't know being this way again would be fun. And it's kind of strange. Midoriya has to think. This amount of power he does hold, he has to be responsible with it. That's right, he's a good guy. He's trying to do good by his species and the world. He can bring them all back anyways. Now, Midoriya, he would go to snap his fingers. As Midoriya, he does reappear in the X-Mansion. 
and he is currently surrounded by every every mutant he does know. As everyone look, looks around confused. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Where are we? It's easy. What do I would say? Going to hold up his hands. Everyone's staring at him. As Midoriya does say that he found it. Now, everyone does begin to cheer Midoriya on. As he does sit down at the table. And he does then go to walk outside. And he would go to hold up the glove. As he does look all around the earth. And he would take away the Terrigen Mist. And he would then give it to the Inhumans. He moved the storm to be isolated and simply turned it into a bunch of Terrigen Crystals. And they are currently laying somewhere on a beach. As Midoriya, he also does snap his fingers and tell the glove he wants more mutants to be around. He wishes for the rebirth of his species. Now, this does happen. All over the world, mutants begin to reawaken. And, even a few particularly strange abilities begin to start popping up. Now, Midoriya, he has just given the world not only mutants, but quirks. Now, People, they'll obviously be seen as mutants. However, it can, he did actually provide genetic differences from humans and inhumans. Now, with that being said, Midoriya, he would go to turn around. And everyone does begin to cheer. Midoriya has done it. He's given everybody mutants back. Now, Midoriya, he also starts to rechange the world and put it back to normal. He's bringing back the Earth's heroes. He's bringing back the dead. And he even does give Steve Rogers a new body. And he is reborn. Now, with that being said, we do then have Midoriya who he does stand on the shield helicarrier. And he's talking with the new heroes, or everybody he's brought back. Tony Stark, Captain America, even the Hulk is here. And they're all being briefed over what is happening today. As Director Fury, he is trying to talk. And explaining that, oh, this is currently happening now, and it's a threat they may not be ready to handle. Now, Midoriya, he does find this all to be quite interesting, as he does quickly solve this threat and then head back to the mansion. Only mutants are aware of what Midoriya does hold in his hands, and Midoriya himself, he is loving this. The mutant population, which was under 5,000, it currently is going up in numbers. Every day mutants are being reported. And after one year, Midoriya did find that the population of mutants was currently at 10 million. Now, Midoriya, he was enjoying this. He is a messiah to his people. And even they know that. However, Midoriya is all wondering about everything. Is this it? He's achieved it. He's got total power. Now what? Now. Midoriya, he is actually walking around one day thinking about this. As he does actually stop in a park. And he was out with Laura and Rogue. As he's sitting down. 
and he's waiting for the two to get done with certain things over at the respective areas. Ah, <sighs> this is kind of tiring. Hmm? Young man, what do you mean? Now, what do I turn his head and see an older looking gentleman? Hmm? Who are you? Ah, don't worry about that for right now. I'm here to talk to you. Hmm? Talk to me? Okay. Can I at least get a name? <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't really have one. Hmm? Really? Well, there's a lot of things people call me. However, I don't want to tell you if that's all right. Hmm. All right. I kind of understand. So, what is this all about? Hmm? I see you're quick on the uptake. Are you happy with how your life is? Hmm? Yeah. I couldn't ask for anything more. Hmm? Are you sure? I know how you feel right now. That glove you're wearing. You hate it, don't you? Hmm? Well, I mean, yes, I do, but at the same time, I've done so much. I've murdered Galactus, I've murdered the, the Celestials, I've done everything. The universe is almost at total peace. Hmm. I see. Well, total peace. That's not something you can ever really find. I, I know. But at the same time, it's what I want. Hmm? Really? Now, this man would just ask Midoriya if that's really everything. To which Midoriya, he would actually turn hearing someone call his name. As Midoriya, he does turn, and you do actually have Rogue and Laura, who they do both come walking up. Now, Midoriya, he would actually go to stand, and tell the man that he has a wonderful life, and that he does currently have two kids on the way. Hmm? Two? Yeah, it's kind of strange, but I'm actually together with a bunch of girls. Hmm. Interesting. Haven't heard about that dynamic before. Really? You don't think it's weird? <laughs> I'm not really one to judge. As long as you're happy. But I do have one question. Do you know what tomorrow holds? No, I don't, really. Well, oh, that's good then. It's part of the adventure. Now, Midoriya would turn around, as he does hear this man say one last thing, or at least whisper it under his breath. Excelsior. And Midoriya would turn around. Hmm? That was weird. I could have I heard that old man say something. Where'd he go? Hmm? Izuku, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, Rogue. But you guys didn't see the guy sitting there? Hmm? What guy? Yeah, Izuku, you were sitting there all by yourself. What? No. I could have swore there was another guy there. Hmm. Are you okay? Yeah, Izuku, you might want to take off the gauntlet. No, it's... I'm okay. I've had on for a year now. Besides, I mean, that guy seemed did seem to be strange, but at the same time he felt so familiar. I don't know. It felt like I knew him from somewhere. Huh. That's strange. Now, Rui is kind of confused. Why does he feel this way? He feels like he just met his dad. Why does he feel sad, though? He should be happy. He doesn't know what the world holds for him tomorrow. 
Those are wise words to remember. Now, what do I would go to walk away with Laura and Rogue? As I would ask both of them, how are they currently doing? Them both trying to reassure Midoriya that they're both fine. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. But... It's just weird, you know? <laughs> what? You're finally going to be a dad? In this timeline? <laughs> hey. I don't need to hear that from you. Besides, aren't you happy you're going to finally be a mom? <laughs> I think we both are. Now, Midoriya would look at Rogue. She's happy and calm. And then he does look at Laura. It's hard to believe that this girl in his left arm used to be so hot-headed out there in the world, and she would quite literally beat you to death for staring at her the wrong way. However, she does look caring and loving in his arm. And she does almost seem soft. It's hard to believe she used to be a trained killer. Now, Midoriya, he would get back to the X-Mansion. As he does enjoy the rest of his day. Now then, with that being said, I do have a question here. If you guys want to see the rest of the series or the series continue I will give you guys another part and if you guys do want to see Deku become even more crazy OP I can make that happen otherwise this is a good note to leave the series off of already and Deku can get a happy ending however I will have to cut out a certain saga I know a lot of people probably did want. Midoriya facing off against the Chaos King. Now, I'm going to go put up a poll on my community tab over there right now. And I want to see what you guys do think. Anyway guys, I'll catch you later. And if this series does not continue, I hope you guys enjoyed this final part. And... As a good man once said, Excelsior.